Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on the basics of Pymol. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to color a particular structure, how to hide it, show it, how to label the chains of a structure. After that, we can also work on specific sequences. We'll learn how to select certain residues in a sequence, how to color them differently, how to delete them, and in the end, how to allow and align multiple sequences together and to superimpose the structures. So let's begin. Our first step is to open the PDB file that we have downloaded from the RSCB PDB website. You can go to rcsb.org, search a structure. Here I'm going to use the structure for the for demonstration purpose 6C5X. It's a crystal structure of SOX1 and complex with along in B and C. This whole structure has eight chains, which is good for a demonstration. You're going to go download files and download PDB format. Then go to PyMall, file, open, navigate to where you have got that structure and open it. So here you've got the structure. The first step we're going to just uh, play around with basics. Let's see if we can color it differently. Instead of it being in green, we want to color the whole thing in blue. So for that, you're going to go to C in the in the right side. There is this thing called all, which is everything that you have open, and there is this thing just your structure. If you select it, you can you can either hide or show the structure. For now we'll go to C and let's color it to orange. So this is simple, you can color the whole structure using that. Now let's say we want to color it based on the, the chains. So you go to, go to color by chain and select any of these. And now each chain is separately colored. Next we want to label the each of these chains. So L here it stands for labeling, go to L chain. So here you can see we got chain E, chain D, A. So there's chain A to G here. Let's say for now, um, I want to change the way this looks. So instead of it being in a cartoon shape, I want it to appear in a different uh, way. We can use sticks, we can use ribbons. The problem is every time you show something, the structure uh, Pymol doesn't delete whatever was there, it just adds on the new kind of uh, graphic. So first you would want to hide everything, let's say hide the cartoon, this way the cartoon has been removed, then if you want to hide the ribbon, the ribbon has also been removed. So you can hide different layers and add different layers by showing and hiding in these. For now I'll just hide everything and start with ribbon. Or I don't like ribbon as much. Let's uh, show cartoon. I like this one. And also label it again with the chains. With this, you know the very basics of Pymol, how to just know where the chains are. The here, the uh, these coils are uh, or not these helices. They are helices, things that are going around and around. These arrow shapes are beta sheets. Next, let's see how we can actually check out the residues in each of these sequence. So if you go to the bottom right, there's a button that says S, you click on it and you are in the sequence mode. When you are in the sequence mode, you can see each chain. So here this chain number A goes from 59th residue to, I think this is 606, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 211 residue. This O could just be a solvent or some uh, some ligand that's not useful for us. Then there is chain B, chain C, and each of them are colored with the same way the structure has been colored. So if you change the colors here, if I change everything to yellow, the whole the whole uh, labeling here on the sequence bar will also change. Uh, let's go back to just changing it by chain. All right, let's say I want to remove the chains that are not from the SOX1 protein. So here it says SOX1 in complex with along in B and C. 
let's say I want to re remove along in BNC. I just want to see along in uh, just socks one protein. So first we're going to find out which chains have the socks one protein. B and E are along in B, C and F are along in C. G is a GP130 peptide. DA chains A and D are the suppressor of cytokine signaling one from Xenopus Levis. So I want only these to show everything else to be hidden. What I'm gonna do is, in fact, not just hidden, I want to delete everything else. So the simple way, first you can just hide everything and select chain number A for, for this one. I'll just select chain number A, show as driven. So it's only showing chain number A, nothing else. However, what's, what if I just want to delete everything? I don't even want to have them in my structure. In that case, I will select this B, which I want to delete, right click, remove. This has been removed from my from this file. Next, also C, remove. Going back just to check, the Soxon protein is A and D, so I'm not going to remove D. We'll, we'll keep D, going to the next one, E. Let's select this and delete. F, select and delete, remove. And there is this E chain, remaining of the E chain. So now I only have the A and D chain. I will show. Go here. Okay, it's not showing. Hold on. Oh, because it's only showing. I'm clicking on the selection, not the socks one. So let's get rid of this action. Delete selection. I don't have anything selected. In socks one along in, I'll go to. Uh, color by chain okay it's, it's not showing for some reason let's try this yeah okay, here it is oh I had everything on hidden that's why so now we got two chains with both of them are shown as cartoons so let's also label them here we got two chain A's two chain D's and finally we have a structure next step we are going to learn how to align this with another structure. For the next step, I will need another protein that I can align with. For demonstration purpose, I'll take a similar protein. Actually, I'll take the same protein from a different species. So here we got SOX1, suppressor of cytokine signaling 1 from Gallus Gallus, which is chain number B. Chain number A is tyrosine protein kinase jack one I'm, I don't need this. I'll just try to align this with my previous structure. So here I'll go to download files, download the PDB format. When I have it downloaded, put a file, open, and let's open that file. It's going to show me both of these structures and it's, it's it gets confusing at times. So let's hide one of these. I can just click on this and it hides everything. So it makes it convenient for me. By the way, there, this software does very well when you have a three, three button mouse. One button, the left click will allow you to rotate the structure. The right click, holding the right click and moving up and down will allow you to zoom in or out. And holding the middle button, which could be a scroll, it allows you to move the structure. So going back to our SOX1 and JAK1, the second uh, second protein that we are looking at, let's delete everything except the protein itself, which is chain number B. So I am going to delete chain number A from this. Select this. Okay, there is more, but I'll just delete it in two clicks here. Let's also delete this. Finally, I just have the chain B from the second protein. So it's possible there are multiple uh, SOX1. So it could be that the SOX1 in this uh, organism is bigger than in this organism. But anyway, we have these two proteins. And what I'll do for simplification, I'll color this whole protein from the second structure to green and from the first structure to red. So I know that these are completely different. Next, I will try to align them. 
the easiest way you can align them is select one of these structures if you don't select you can if you select you'll hide and yeah by the way you can also see this uh, their uh, sequences side by side so i'm going to align these these two structures select any one click on a which stands for action go to align to molecule and select whatever pops up whatever pops up here usually going to be the protein structure which is not open if you have multiple uh, protein structures open then you will select the one that you want to align with click and here it aligns perfectly look at that so it so it's possible that this second organism only has a part of this protein it could also be that the this is this protein is just in a dimeric format in another organism or when it was crystallized if you want to make this alignment disappear so this alignment actually also shows you if there are any uh, if it's not if it's badly aligned you will know but for this one it's just the same protein from different organisms it aligns perfectly you can play around here you can change the way this looks so the second one i can make it i'll first hide it and then i'll re uh re display this as ribbon and you can do a lot of things here it here is also a sequence alignment it shows you exactly where the sequences have aligned and you can do a lot with this you can see where the protein is uh, having the having the same orientation as the original protein and where it's differing it can be a very potent tool depending on what you want to accomplish and for this tutorial that'll be it thank you for watching uh, let me know if you want any more tutorials about primal see you